Hey guys, it's Kayla from Killing It With Coupons, and here is my Office Depot slash Office Max haul for you guys this week. If you guys um, haven't watched my hauls in the past, you guys know Office Depot and Office Max are um, combined now, so really whatever deals are at either store are going to be the same. It just may vary by region, um, but not by store anymore. So whichever one is closer to you, you guys can go to, and you'll get the same deals at either of them. Um, now, the total retail cost of all of these items you guys see here would have been $54.15. I paid just five dollars and 63 cents plus 45 cents in tax and saved 39 dollars and seven cents so um i'll start off the deals for this week um with the penny items this week you do need a minimum five dollar purchase to get to the items at a penny now all of the 50 cent items are going to total you up to four dollars and 50 cents um with all the ones that are on the front page so the bic pens uh or pencils the Office Depot uh, scissors and then the Scholastic glue sticks. Those are the 50 cent items and that will total you, if you get three of each, that will total you up to 450 like I did. Then I need an extra 50 cents so I went ahead and picked this up which was a dollar. Um, and I really do want these actually because they are, I want to start doing like a organizer or um, like a schedule organizer type thing and I really want to use some like colored colored pens um, to keep myself a little bit more organized visually um, and so I wanted to go ahead and pick those up especially since they were on sale they're normally pretty expensive so I was happy these were on sale pretty cheap um, and then the penny items are the uh, filler paper and then also the uh, the folders as well the folders are a limit of 10 and the paper is a limit of three all of the other 50 cent items are a limit of three as well um and then like i said i did pick up one of these just to get over that five dollars so that then i could get my items up there for a penny so starting off this week the filler paper like i said these are you guys can either get the wide or the college ruled um size i believe it is the filler paper is um the 100 sheets they are normally $1.99. For the three I picked up would have been $5.97. They're on sale for a penny. So for the three I got with three cents and I say $5.94. Then the um the paper notebook or paper folders. Um, I picked up 10 of these in total. Um, these are normally nine or 89 cents for the 10 i picked up would have been eight dollars and 90 cents they're on sale for a penny so for the 10 i picked up were 10 cents and i saved eight dollars and 80 cents so yes sometimes not the prettiest folders to look look at but these do do the trick um for you know school and stuff like that and they're pretty cheap normally only a penny each and then the big mechanical pencils were the first items that i picked up for this week as far as the 50 cent products go um these are the what is it five or six count the six count um these are normally four dollars and 29 cents i picked up three for 12 would have been 12 dollars and 87 cents they're on sale for 50 cents so for the three i picked up were a dollar 50 and i saved 11.37 um so again i actually bic is probably these are my favorite favorite mechanical pencils um, is the big kind. And then um, the next items I picked up, I'll go with the glue sticks next. These Scholastic glue sticks, um, I picked up the blue and the purple kind. These are the four packs. These are normally $2.79. So for the three I picked up would have been $8.37. They're on sale for $0.50. Cents. So for the three I picked up was $1.50 and I saved $6.87. And then the scissors this week, the Office Depot brand scissors, the kid scissors. Um, these, I picked up three of them. Um, and I did pick up, I guess, one of the pointed ones. I didn't even realize that, but they do ring up at the right price, the 50 cents one. Um, and then these are the like circle edged um, tip ones. And um, so in total though, they are normally two dollars i picked up three which would have been six dollars they're on sale for 50 cents so for the three i picked up again 150 and i say 450 and then like i was saying too guys i'm really excited because i really want to start like this new school year get myself like organized as far as um like cleaning things and um like meal plan and the stuff on the blog and youtube and everything like that so i really wanted some um you know visually appealing um pens and things like that for um doing that so i also too if you guys have any suggestions on what type of like organizers you guys use um whether they are printable or like the one you know already already made i guess if that makes sense or if they're printable ones you know just like an organizer or uh 
online like printable PDF organizers as well. What have you guys used or any suggestions you guys have on that? Because I do want to start doing that um, just so that I have, you know, a visual, a visual for every day to see what I need to be doing. Anyways, guys, those are normally $4.99. They're on sale for a dollar, so I saved $3.99 on that. So, I'll share with you guys my receipt up there. You guys can see are the pencils. These were the um, the folders, the pens, uh, or the pen um, pack, and then the um, glue sticks down there. Um, and then I think these were the other glue sticks. This was the, the blue one, and these were the purple. These were the scissors. Um, these ones I think were the, this was a non, or the, this was a pointed, this is non-pointed tip. Scissors and then the filler paper. And then the mechanical pencils and the mechanical pencils again down there as well. Alright, so as you guys can see there, my subtotal was $5.63 after tax I paid $6.08 and I saved $39.07. So, that is it for me this week. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions on any organizers that you guys have found like really helpful or anything like that in staying organized with things like I said, meal planning wise, cleaning wise, just YouTube stuff wise, um... What do you guys use that's really helpful for you? Um, like I said, these these were my first purchase in, in getting there. So anyways, though that is it for me this week. It, like I said, if you guys do have any suggestions on that, if you guys wouldn't mind letting me know. So um, like I said, I'd love to um, hear about what you guys, what your guys' suggestions are. So if you guys have a haul from this week, I'd love to read to or hear about them via video picture comment. You guys can also find these deals and more. I'll post on my blog, killnotescoupons.com. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Pinterest, Instagram, and Tumblr, along with our two other YouTube channels, our daily vlogs, and our NizzyNet. Our NizzyNet, we post new videos every Friday, and our daily vlogs, we post new videos every day. So if you guys would, please subscribe over there and here, and I'll talk to you guys all next week. Bye, guys. Hey guys, it's Kayla from Kill Night with Coupons, and here is my Walmart haul for you guys this week. So this week, guys, I did compare one item to the Aldi price. If you guys watch my Aldi haul, you guys know I normally compare the prices at Walmart to the Aldi price um, to see how much I save. In this case, I did it um, in reverse um, because the uh, noodles this week, which I needed for a meal that I made.